Hello, my name is Maurice Engler. I'm a product specialist and user of products of merging technology and want to show you a little bit what we have in front of us. We have four different products. Some of them you might know, some of them you might, you might not know or a little bit about it. So I just want to have, give you a brief overview and particularly explain uh, something about our new product, which is Happy. So first of all, we have here, as I said, four products. One is Horus, which is an audio converter, A to D, D to A, microphone preamplificator, and things like that. We also have converters from digital to digital audio signals, for example, AES to MADI, or vice versa. And this is connected through a Ravenna audio over IP to a switch. And from this switch, we are connected to a Pyramix mask score, for example. We also are connected to a native version of Pyramix, which this time has an ASIO driver to Ravenna, which could be another workstation or which could be also on a Mac with a core audio driver uh, to Ravenna. Both drivers are in this case free of charge. And all these systems go to one switch. And last one but not least, which is the little brother of Horus or the little son of Horus, better to say, which is Happy. Happy is also, of course, connected to Ravenna. And now we can interchange audio signals between all those systems. Before going into the functionality of Ravenna, I just want to explain a little bit what Happy is about. So first of all, as you can see, Horus is a two-unit 19-inch system. We have now Happy, which is a one-unit uh, system. And we have a little screen in front of there with, as usual, the two loudspeaker or headphone connectors. And we have now a little OLED screen with a little roll that we can change here. So first of all, I set it now, for example, that I have this output, this analog outputs connected to loudspeakers, for example, and I could change the level here. Simply by pushing the button, I could, I could say, no, I would like actually the this button actions here, the headphone level. And I have also a reset speak, for example. Very simple now by pressing two seconds instead of just a quick uh, uh, push, brings me to the menu. And here, of course, I have a complete menu. I could say, for example, uh, uh, I could change the, the gain preamps from my inputs, for example, if I have some. Or I could make some presets because I want this uh, happy to be on location for recording and I have certain types of presets, certain types of gains or things like that, and suddenly or routing, and suddenly I bring it back into my studio and I have a different type of routing because I could also say that my analog outputs, if I have the card for it, uh, is also at the same time outputted on my AES EBU output. So I can really route things from here as I want. I have to also explain that this can be done from here, or it can be done from a web page, which is connected, as I said, over audio over internet, over IP Ravenna, and I can remote control all these settings directly from my internet browser as well, Chrome type or Firefox or whatever. Then on the back side, the back panel is of course interesting. And it's the idea and taken from Horus, but I have just two bays in this sense. So I'm going to go a little bit from right to left and explain a little bit from what I have all over there. First of all, I have my word clock connection and my sync breakout cable, which is not here, but there I can connect my time code, for example, my video reference and things like that. And on the top, I have my digital I.O. I have my ADAT, 8 in, 8 out, or my ASEBU, in and out, 8 channels as well. Then I have my two Ravenna IP connectors, it means I have two because of redundancy. So this is exactly the same signal, the master one being the bottom one. I could put a second one and then I would have a total redundancy in case one cable, for example, in a big recording hall door or things like that gets broken, I have always the other one that still functions. Then I have two bays and in these two bays I have four different options. First of all, of course, I don't need anything inside. If I just want to have a little uh, monitoring system with a headphone and, for example, AES, e EBU in and out, I don't need anything in those bays. But now I could put some uh, 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 little modules. One would be, 
for example, an A to D converter with eight microphone preamplificators, or a D to A converter with line out. It's always per eight channels, and I have two families, one converting signal up to 192 kilohertz, and the premium family going up to DSD and to DXD, each time eight channels. Then I have two other models. One would be the MADI model, 64 in, 64 out. So in this case, I could have, for example, 64 in and output in MADI, one DA if I need, for example, and still my eight a ASCBU or my eight ADAT in and out. And the fourth model, which is a new model, it's so to say the combo model, where you module, module, sorry, where you could have eight A to D and eight D to A in one card. So if you got two combo modules in there, you would have 16 A to D and 16 D to A, plus the ACBU or the ADAT. Then at the end, power supply and a little uh, connector, which is now hidden with a 12 volt DC input, where you could put an external power supply uh, as a redundancy or a 12 volt, for example, battery if you're somewhere uh, outside where there's no power supply. So how all this is connected, as I mentioned, with cables, of course, with Ethernet cables over Ravenna uh, 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 audio over IP protocol with a switch in the middle, a specific switch. But now how do, do I manage all of that? The interesting thing is that if I install, obviously, a Puramix, but also, if I install just the ASIO driver with another DAW on a PC or the core audio driver with another DAW on a Mac, I will automatically install Easy Connect. Easy Connect is, the way it says, the way I connect all my different Ravenna devices. So to understand it, on the left side of it, I have my local device, my Pyramix mask core in this case. And on the right side, I have my different available Ravenna devices. So to be the happy and the horse. And now I can deploy them and I can see what's in there as inputs, as outputs, and so on. So now I see that I have different things. For example, my MADI is connected to my Pyramix and so on, my inputs, my outputs, and so on. On my native version, what I prepared before shooting this video is that I connected already two analog inputs coming into the Horus going into my Pyramix, native, with Ravenna as your driver. The interesting thing now, I have in my Horus this AD module available as well. So it means that I simply press connect. And now those inputs from those eight uh, 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 um, A to D converters, I could have 24, 48, whatever is needed, or the MAGI modules, but they are available in my Pyramix as well. So what is now very interesting is that I can record, for example, at the same time my, in my Pyramix mask core and in my native ASIO Pyramix or other workstation at the same time with the same audio signal. So redundancy is very simple and very easy in that matter and managing all of that with EasyConnect is very efficient and very easy as well.